Hey guys, so today we're going to be adding our map to our example. So whenever we put in a place, we can pick the exact location. To do this, we're going to be using a library called React Google Maps. Now here's a little example that we're going to use, but before we do that, we want to both install the library and configure the Google Maps API request. So we add this script to our uh, public index.html in the last video. Um, but we need to make a quick change. So at the very end of the URL, you should see libraries and you might only have the places one. So you wanna add these two right here as well. So you want geometry and also drawing. So those two libraries are used by this one over here. So React Google Maps uses those as long as along with places, which is what we are using yesterday with the React GeoSuggest. So we need all three of those libraries. And then also go ahead and just run yarn add react google maps to install the library itself and then that also comes with typescript stuff so we don't have to uh, install the types for that and then we're going to be doing stuff in the location field over here so we're going to add just import and go ahead and copy this example right here so i'm going to paste that in and then i'm just going to move this down here so this map with marker we want to render and I'm gonna render it down here. So I'm just gonna do it below the, the latitude and longitude. Now we can actually see a map show up if we go over there and look at it. So all we're doing here is we create this component which we wrap with uh, the higher order component with Google Maps. And then here are some settings. The settings we care about is this default center so this one right here shows uh, the starting point on the map. So for example, if I type New York, I'd wanna set the latitude and longitude for New York. So I show in the little view box that. And then here's a marker, which we're gonna play with in a little bit. This is just the latitude and longitude for that marker. And then default zoom is how zoomed in it is. So you can change that if you want. Um, and then props, looks like we're not even using the props right now, but we're going to in a second. And so we're just rendering that. And I'm not really sure what these things are doing. I guess this wraps the components. Um, these are just the default one it has an example and that seems to work. So we'll use that So let's go ahead and look over here now for me for whatever reason I was playing with this a little bit before this video and I ran out of API requests pretty much uh, After one request. I'm not sure why But it goes ahead and it still allows me to do stuff It just has kind of this little for development purposes only watermark over it Which I'm totally cool with because we're on local host anyway Anyway, so you should get a map like this and as it says we can zoom in if we want to and we can see that one marker that we placed But if I zoom out right now, you'll notice. Let's see where we are. We're in Australia So ideally what I want to do is whenever I pick a place we zoom over to that So to do that what I'm going to do is I pretty much want to pass in as a prop what the default center should be so I'm going to store in our state the default center and for now it's going to be null so I want to just add the type definition for that so I'm going to say interface state we're going to have default center and this is either going to be uh, an interface or an object or it's going to be null and the object is going to be a latitude which is a number and a longitude which is also a number and I'm just going to pass the state in as the second argument to this uh, angle tags right here. All right, so for now it's going to be null, and I'm going to just say not even bother rendering the map when it is null. So I'm going to say this dot state dot default center. So we're only going to render this map if we have a default center, and I'm going to just pass that in. So I'm going to say default center, and we're going to pass in this dot state dot default center. Now, it's not actually taking a parameter. This, this component is not taking a prop called default center. Um, so I'm not really sure how best to add it. I'm not sure if it takes angle brackets like this, where I can say default center is equal to null or something. Um, that seems to work. So what I'm gonna say is create a type up here called interface. Well, actually it's really a type. I'm gonna call it default center which is equal to null or this type right here. And I'm gonna uppercase that. 
and now I can use this default center in two places. So that was the reason why I was creating a type up here so I can use it here and I can also use it here. All right, so now we'll pass that in um, and we actually don't even want the null version of it. So I'm gonna just say interface default center is equal to that. And so here the default center is either gonna be that or it's gonna be null. Um, so now here what I want to do is in the props just pass that in. So I'm going to say props.defaultCenter. And now it's not liking it here possibly because this could be null. Yep, so oh it's always going to be null. Alright so you'll notice I had to actually specify the type of the state here. So if we just hover over it you'll see it's always null because that's what it has here. So I'm annotating it with the state that we used here. For whatever reason, it doesn't just take with the value we pass in here, so you have to do that. All right, so now all the type definitions are happy. So the last thing to do is actually update this state. And so we wanna do that here in our on suggest. So we're gonna say latitude and longitude, and that's gonna be default center. Um, it doesn't like it. Oh, it's because what is the value of latitude and longitude? They're strings. So I'm going to parse those two numbers. So I'm going to parse float latitude and parse float longitude. So now whenever I type something in, so I type New York, for example, we're going to pass the latitude and longitude to the default center, updating the state. So then we're going to pass that in here. And we're now going to render it because default center is no longer null and it has the latitude and longitude of New York, which we pass here. And so the default center is going to be New York or whatever we search. So let's try this. So now if I do New York and I pick this, um, we now see New York instead of Australia. So that's perfect. So now the next thing that I want to be able to do is to like zoom in here. And I'm like, all right, so I am this house right here or whatever. And I can click that and add a marker. And that'll be the latitude and longitude of that I want to actually set in the form. So now to do this, we can set an on click handler here and then pass in the latitude and longitude here. So I'm going to say latitude, which is a number and longitude, that's a number as well. So we're gonna take those two as props, and that is gonna be this marker that we render right here. Um, also, these two values here, I'm just going to store as like default values. Um, so I'm gonna just save those. So I'm gonna copy and comment those, and we're gonna add those in a second. So now I'm gonna say props.latitude and props.longitude. So now I need to pass those two values in. So come down here. We're going to say latitude is equal to values.latitude and longitude is equal to values.longitude. So now to move the marker, what we have to do is update the longitude and latitude. Um, let's see what this looks like real quick though. So now that we added that, as soon as we pick a location, we should see the marker show up, and we do. So now we see a marker in New York um, because that's all we have the latitude and longitude at right now. So now I want to be able to click and change what the latitude and longitude is. So Google Maps has an on click, and we're just going to grab that from the props.onclick. So on click. And now we need to, I want to copy what the on click for this is. So I'm going to just click this and take a look at the type definition of it. So if we search for on click while we're here, we can see we get a Google Maps, whatever this thing is. And we're just going to paste that in there. So, and that's going to be void. So this is the type definition um, for this on click method. Um, at least I thought it is. It doesn't seem like it's liking this. Um, looks like the type event is mouse event. All right, let's click on the Google Maps again and see if there's other on clicks. Maybe I got the wrong one. Yeah, okay, so here's the other on click. It's called mouse event. 
and there's also this poly mouse event. So there's actually a couple on clicks. So let's try this. So we're going to say that, or it's that Google one. Okay, that seemed to work okay now. So now we need to pass this on click down here. So I'm going to say on click, and we're going to use that that we get here. So if I click x dot, we see we have one property we can access, the latitude and longitude. And you'll notice that these are actually functions. See how they're functions, and they return the latitude in degrees or the longitude in degrees. So perfect. So now I can get the const latitude and then the longitude. So this is the location that I just clicked. So now what I want to do is I want to update that, um, the values here. So we're going to grab that from the form, set values. And we're going to copy the same thing that we did up here. So now we're going to keep all the values that we have and set the new latitude and longitude that we get when the user clicks. All right, so let's take a look at what that looks like now. So I type New York. And now, okay, I'm going to zoom in. And all right, so this is where we're located the marker. I'm going to click over here. Um, or now I can say, all right, this is my house right here. And so now we can do exactly what location that we want to actually pick. And we can see the latitude and longitude up there. That should be changing as well. And we can see precisely where we want. So this will allow you to pinpoint the exact location for your applications now. So that is it for developing this feature. Now I just want to move this over to the other page and replace what we were using before to pick the latitude and longitude. So that is over in our form. If we come over to, I think, listing and then create, we put this on page one as just a temporary. I'm gonna just move it here to page three. Now that we finished developing it and get rid of how we were picking the latitude and longitude below. And we'll import that and I'll remove the import from over here. So now when I get to page three, I should be able to pick my latitude and longitude using that method. Um, let's go to Hollywood this time. Let's go to Germany. And nice. So that's it for this video, guys. That's how you can add Google Maps to your application. And do check out the documentation. I'll link it below. There's a ton of other features and customizations you can add to this if you need to do any custom stuff with Google Maps.